Now, today we will discuss about the World Wide Web. Okay. Anybody knows about it? Little bit. What is World Wide Web? Okay. Set of yes. Covers around the world. Yes, please. Set of computers it's like servers around the world connected together. Yes, 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 yes. You can see like that. Yes, we will understand what is World Wide Web. Today, uh, tomorrow, uh, yesterday we will uh, we discuss about the in internet. What was internet? Internet uh, is the technology where we can through which we can communicate with other ones. Okay. And now today we will uh, discuss about World Wide Web. Uh, 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 yesterday we will discuss about network. Uh, when two or more computers, when two or more devices connect with each other, they make the uh, network. They make the network, and that network. In uh, because there are so many uh, computers are around the world, okay. There are so many computers around the world, so there are uh, they all together. They all together because every uh, as we discussed now uh, earlier uh, in uh, uh, previous classes about the information, how to create information, ICT. What was ICT? ICT is the information. and communication technology okay so how we create the information in our pc in our computer in our mobile that when we uh, enter the data the data is converted into uh, information after processing okay so that is the info then we create the information and when we when that information when that information we want to uh, share with someone we want to share with someone that is called communication okay so that is a through some technology we are using technology that is called ict so in this today we will uh, discuss when because every pc every computer every uh one sec one second wait Yes, sorry. Okay. Every uh, as we uh, one second. understand every pc uh, okay there are so many pcs in the world okay there are so many pcs so many devices in the world so all when someone wants to share its information like suppose uh, i have information about uh, some information i have uh, uh, in my pc there is a information about ict i create some data in my pc regarding ict okay so some uh, i want to share this information i want to share this information to the other ones to the other ones so so they can get, uh, get the knowledge so they can get the knowledge about ict so there are so many pieces you can get the information about ict through uh, through internet Okay, through internet because every uh, so many there are so many pieces in the world who has uh, uh, who has information about ICT okay so when when this information when this all huge information because there uh, uh, one PC have information ICT other PC have I, uh, information ICT so when this information we connect with the internet we, by the use of the internet we uh, share the information we share the information that inf 
we share the information every pc is sharing the information about ict so that makes a web that creates a, a web that is that is called the world wide web because information is placed in many pcs not every pc many pcs many pc many personal computers or many devices world wide web so this creates a web this uh, this makes a web so because uh, the uh, information is placed in all over the world that's why we use the word and wide wide why we use the word wide wide because it is play it is in the huge form because when you uh, connect collect the information in uh, together it makes it huge information so it creates a web because uh, one pc is placed in the punjab other pc is placed in the Uh, situated in the gujarat so many countries so many countries so many cities so many states so it creates a web that's why it is called world wide web as you see na when you uh, search about the uh, ugc net paper one or any subject you will see so many pages so many websites will open in front of you in front of you so you will see there are so many information is placed in the Uh, uh placed in the uh, web uh, internet so that that means it is a web of the information it is a web of the so many informations you can get every information through network through internet as we uh, we will understand about this uh, in, uh, one second i have to make the diagram yes so this is i will make some cloud my diagram can be very bad yes this is a network this is like a cloud you can understand because we uh, uh, resemble a network with the cloud mm -hmm. network it is a network there are so many pcs are present so many pcs this is one pc in you can say punjab or one gujarat one ahmedabad one kolkata one other countries canada australia so all have some all pcs have some information okay okay understood and one i have one pc this is me you can understand this is me i want to share some info i have some information in my pc i want to share it with with this network i want to share it uh, my information with this network with this uh, network so uh, when i will share when i will share my information with this network it means i am what i am i am doing i am doing uploading i am doing i am when i am sharing my information to other ones to this network to to the internet so i am uploading i am uploading the information when i am taking i am taking the information from other ones from the net uh, internet uh, through the internet from other ones that means i am downloading the information okay as you see now you are downloading you are you are down, you download some things that means you are uh, fetching you are create, uh, getting some information from the internet or from that uh, www and when you are giving some information that means you are uploading your information in the world wide web okay so every pc uh, so we example every pc is a node we uh, call it a node one second we call it node terminal we use uh, these uh, pcs we use these uh, this word for each and every pc the, uh, who is uh, who has information to share and to get to get the information and to share the information that that pc that uh, device is called node that called device is also called terminal that is also called host 
who has who uh, which device has information that device is called also called host because he uh, uh, that device holding some information okay like uh, like uh, for you for you i am host i have information i am sharing with you i am hosting i am hosting for you okay so i uh, my pc is a node my pc is a terminal okay and your pc your device is also a node your uh, device your uh, pc is also a terminal okay through which you are getting the information this these are the common words used for the uh, pcs or device who has information okay next when when uh, one second <coughs> yes these devices these devices are connected with each one other ones okay so these are creating a web so that's why it is called world wide world wide web okay who creates this world wide web who is the father of the world wide web who father of the world wide web is tim berners lee who is the father of the father of www is tim berners lee okay this is the network there are so many pcs present in this network so they are connected with each other when they connected with each other they are sharing their information with each other that creates a web that why because these pcs are present in all over the world that why it it called world wide web so each and every pc call who is who has information who is sharing the information who has, who has who is getting some information that uh, pc or that device is called node terminal and who has some information that is called host who is giving some information that is called host okay clear everyone up to this hello yes ma'am Ma'am, yes. Node terminal and host are the same. These yes are same. Yes. Uh, listen, my PC is a node. I in a computer language we call it node. We can call it terminal. Okay. And why it is called host? Because I have some information. I am sharing with you. That's why I am host. Okay. because i have some information in my pc in my device so i am sharing with you that i am hosting i am hosting okay that's why my pc is my device is called host when your device is sharing some information to other ones that is called host okay okay ma'am yes and father of the ww is the tim berners lee got it now we will discuss about the how to share how to share informations okay as you uh, you will see na when you uh, uh, you open your google when you open your google you search uh, you press uh, suppose you press uh, you enter some ugc paper ugc uh, paper regarding yoga regarding any subject you will search where are you searching where are you searching that that is called web browser one second i will see you no i can't see you because i opened the md by google one second my screen is visible no one second yes no now it's visible my screen yes ma'am yes 
now we will discuss about the words web browser second ma'am yes can you make your screen full yes one second i try now it's okay yeah ma'am better okay yes i changed her yes we will understand web browser website web page search engine what are these words in computer language okay yes now we will understand about the web browser okay what is web browser when you are you uh, my screen is visible google screen where the google yes ma'am yes yes here you see na there is a google okay you are seeing uh, you will uh, type something like facebook you will understand facebook yes i am browsing i am browsing some uh, facebook okay this is the www.facebook.com okay is it here? it's not opening okay web browser when you search when you want to search anything on the on uh, your, uh, when you open your google chrome you search something you search regarding ugc or anything facebook instagram anything you want to search you press you enter some uh, uh, information regarding that uh, query or any uh, information then you will see that site will be open that site open uh, that site will be open that means you are web browsing you are using web browser which web browser you are using the google okay you are using the uh, web browser google chrome google chrome is the example of the web browser okay where you are you search some information uh, google chrome okay and what is the website when you search suppose you search about the ugc paper ugc net paper 1 you will see so many sites will open in front of you that means that the uh, these sites uh, each each and every like you will see uh, regarding uh, wikipedia like britannica like uh, other link idin these are the websites will uh, see, you will see in front of you these are these all these all are called websites when you open when you open any any website then you will see the front page that front page is called web page a uh, home page sorry home page i will understand like you uh, you see the book you see the, the book you have a book book uh, book there are so many pages in in your book there, suppose you have a th uh, book of 300 pages you have a 300 pages in your book and you you will see the contents the contents of the book the index of index of the book of that book so you have the web pages you have a content where you can go through that contact in any page where you want to go where which, which portion or which topic you want to read you will see your index you will see your content where the your uh, topic is present you will uh, search uh, you will uh, see the page and then you will directly open that page and you will read your topic okay
that's the same in the case of the website and web page when you go go through that website when you search about some uh, information regarding uh, you see some information regarding ict ict subject you will see so so many websites will uh, see in front of you you will search one first uh, website you open first website okay you will see the home page home page of the uh, first page of that home uh, website that is called home page and all all other information is present in that website that information is present in the form of the web page in website the information is present in the form of the web pages okay got it Please give me the answer. Yes, Hello. Yes, ma'am. Yes. When you open your website, any a website regarding any information that you want, you will open that website and you will uh, you will uh, find the information in the form of the web pages. And so the first page will open uh, of that website that is called home page. Okay and what is search engine when you search when you enter some data when you enter some information regarding uh, which information you want to search you will press in the google chrome i'll take the example yes i give the example suppose uh, you want to ugc net paper one okay you will there are so many sites open in front of you okay so uh, you suppose i open this okay this is the first i uh, uh, first step was the i uh, browser i a web browser what is the web browser web browser of the google chrome google chrome is the web browser where i uh, 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 type some information which i want then i search, uh, press the search button and then i get got the information in so many websites in the form of the so many websites i open first information i open first website and this is the home page of that website okay this is the home page this is not that this is the form of the pdf so that's why this is in the consecute by juice we open by juice yes this is the home page of the by juice okay where you uh, will yeah okay you table of content we, uh, what are present in this website you will see all the information regarding uh, uh, ugc paper uh, uh, if you want the regarding ugc net paper 1 ugc net paper 1 weightage ugc net paper 1 syllabus books uh, preparation strat strategy you will click there and you will go to go through that page okay that is all about the and how you search the when you press when you type some information on the web browser there are so many uh, there are spiders and crawlers we call it uh, in search engine there are spiders we call it spider who search the information who search the information these are called spiders or crawlers okay who uh, like a spiders they walk on the web uh, world wide web they uh, they uh, uh this uh sorry like you uh, press ugc net you get so many information regarding ugc net paper one they uh, will you press uh, i uh, sorry one second i press ugc net paper one uh, the uh, spiders and crawler will uh, get uh, will uh, take uh, the uh, this uh, word ugc net paper one and they will search they will search uh, search some information regarding in every uh, uh, every information present in the uh, nodes the information is present in the node they will search they will search that same info is, is the same word is present in that information suppose i save my information in the form of ugc net paper one and other words i add suppose i add some other words regarding um, journal okay so uh, the information will be changed information will be they will match they will match the same words the uh, spiders and crawlers what will what will they do they will search same words 
the uh, information is present in every node they will search same information and the same information they will collect and they will uh, give you same information in front of you they will uh, give same information in front of you they will first of all they will match the information the information is present in the nodes or terminals they will uh, uh, search the uh, uh, check the same uh, same words present in the information they will uh, match that words and they will share with you in front of you okay maximum matching Max maximum matching words will uh, uh, the information will present in front of you and how how will they work uh, uh, why the first uh, slide uh, first uh, website is present in uh, first uh, sub, uh, upper upper page uh, first uh, we uh, obviously we open the first uh, website we open uh, op, uh, in normally we just open the first website why why uh, we open this word website because we don't want to uh, waste our time we just uh, want to uh, uh, open first uh, website and we get the information why this happened why this information is present in front of you in front in first first line this, uh, because of this is because of seo seo search engine optimization seo search engine Opt optimization because uh, uh, like uh, suppose uh, i have i have my uh, website i have my website i make my i made my website i want that okay, my website looks in front of uh, in first line in first page in first line what will i do i will do some algorithms i will do some tags so that when the uh, when the client when the client will come and uh, search some information regarding that topic the, uh, my information will see in front of you in first line so that uh, optimize that is called seo uh, this is a market this is a uh, marketing of the your uh, websites this is a marketing okay as you see na uh, which uh, uh, you see the there are so many shops are present in the market but which uh, uh, the shop which has maximum marketing maximum marketing that shop uh, is a uh, good uh, for us okay so that shop is good, uh, much marketing more marketing than other ones so that shop is good for us we see we think that this shop is good for us because uh, the uh, heroine or any hero is uh, using that shop so that's why it is good for all shops that is called marketing okay marketing strategy so this is same in the case of the uh, World Wide Web, when you want to sh show your information in front of uh, the client, then uh, there is a need of the SEO. What is that? Search engine optimization. We give the, uh, we use some algorithms and tags so that our information is present in front, in uh, first line or in first row, you can say it in first page. So that is called search engine. Uh, got it, everyone? Yes. Yes. Now we will uh, briefly understood. Ma'am, it is the tag which we give, na? Like. Uh... Yes. Yes. It is a tag we give, na? Yes. Uh, a similar words. Obviously, UGC net paper. So this is the common words. So they will give some algorithms. They will see uh, so that spiders and crawlers search these uh, words uh, quickly. Okay, and present in front of you. You you have to uh, give some algorithms like that so that every client. One thing I have to tell you, I forgot. What is server and what is client? So which PC, which device has more information? Has more information rather than other PCs or other devices? That is called server. Okay. We will understand about client server architecture. Architecture. Yes. Server. Server is what? Which has 
more information rather than other ones which has more information huge information you can see that huge information okay and what is client who wants who give uh, who wants information who request for the information like us when we want some information we search on the google so that means we are clients who request for information Okay. Server is which has huge information, which has information, huge information and client who requests for the information. Okay. And that is called client server architecture. That is called client server architecture. Okay, and also understood. A client at a time can be a server or can be a, a, a client. How? When uh, he has a, a suppose I have information. I have information that you want. So for you, I am a I am a server, and for uh, you are client. And and if I you have a information, you have a information. I want that information that that time you are a server and i am a client but in basically we understand like that which has huge information rather than other devices that is called servers and client who request for the sir uh, for the information that is called client so at a time one at a, at one time a server can be a client a client can be a server okay that is called client server architecture got it Everyone got yes. it? Yes. Can you repeat? Yes, please repeat again. Yes, yes, ma'am. Can you repeat it again? Yes, I can repeat. A server, what is server? Server which has huge information. Who gives the information? Who gives the information? That is called server. And who is client? Client who requests for the information. Okay. Who requests for the information to the server? That is called client. Okay. And then this makes her client server architecture and a server at one time can be a client or can be a server how they can be a, how a server can be a client because when he has a, he wants some information he wants some information that is uh, that makes his him client okay and when client has some information he is sharing with other ones that makes uh, at that time that makes client a server Okay. Got yes, it. Yes, ma'am. Like Adani and Ambani. Suppose I have, I want something. Like I want something. Um, I want. Uh, you can say the example of uh, rich people's. Okay, rich people's. So I am always client for that people's. Like Adani and Ambani. We are always a client for that ones. Okay. But Adani and Ambani can be a server, can be a client for some other ones who are rich more, more than that. Okay. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Got it. Yes. Now we will read about World Wide Web. Yes. World Wide Web is all public websites or web pages that people may assess on their local computers and other devices through the internet are collectively known as world wide web all websites public website and web web pages 
because our, all information are present in the form of the websites or web pages so these local computers or devices are collectively when they are collectively through the internet that is called world wide web because all information is present in the world wide web in the form of the websites and web pages users can get further informations by navigating to links interconnecting these pages and documents users can get information yes but when you search some information you can get this that information in the form of the pages this data may be present in text in the form of the picture audio video formats on the internet what is www www stands for the world wide web is commonly known as the web the www was started by cern what is cern cern is the european council of nuclear research it is the name of the laboratory it is a american laboratory name of the uh, american laboratory where tim Bar tim barnes lee uh, research on the ww at the ww okay in 1989 ww is defined as a you can uh, write down the uh, full form of the sun please write down sun is the european council of nuclear research okay european council of nuclear research www is defined as the collection of different websites around the world containing different information sh shared via local servers yes we can get the information through a device now that means we are local servers or local computers so yes web pages are linked together using hyperlinks which language is used in the world wide web that is html hypertext markup language okay so and which uh, protocol is used in the world wide web hypertext transfer protocol as i discussed uh, yesterday class now what is protocol there are some rules and regulations the word is uh, what is used in the computer language for the rules and regulation is protocol so there are some protocols uh, for uh, in the world wide web that is called hypertext transfer protocol what type of protocols are used hypertext transfer protocol in world wide web such digital connections or links allows users to easily assess desired information by connecting relevant pieces of information the benefit of hypertext is it allows you to pick a word or phrase from the text other sites and that have inf more information about it yes you press you enter some uh, one uh, word you enter only one word you will get so many information regarding that only one word okay so history of the uh, www is the it is a project created by tim Berner lee okay in 1989 for researchers to work together effectively at sun sun is the laboratory name where tim Berner lee created the www it is an organization named the World Wide web consortium which was developed for further development of the web this organization is directed by tim Berners lee the father of the web who is the father of the web tim Berners lee where tim Berners worked is a community of more than 1700 researchers from more than 100 countries there are so many researchers work in the sun that 100 countries of the 100 countries these researchers spend a few time on sun and rest of the time they work at their colleges national yes it is a just no common knowledge yes work how to how work of the uh, working of the ww a web browser a web browser is used to assess web pages yes as we understood uh, earlier uh, how you get the information in the form of the web pages web browsers can be defined as programs which display text data pictures animation and video on the net yes you can get uh, the information as you see now on the uh, like examples yes you will see uh, there is a uh, sorry shopping videos images news so the uh, you uh, the f information is present in this all forms okay in which you want you can press click on that okay and you will get the information 
Yes, hyperlink resources on the World Wide Web can be assessed using software interfaces provided by web browser. It is a software, so that's why initially web browser were used only for surfing. What is surfing? Surfing is searching. Okay, surfing word is used searching. The blow diagram indicates how the web operates. Yes, and web browser. It is a client server architecture of the internet. As we have understood about client server architecture, web browser, when we enter some uh, request or any data, that information you want, that information is go to the web server and web server give you the information on the web browser. Okay. Now, World Wide Web is a network of online content. As we understand, it is a content of the online online content that is formulated in hypertext markup language and assessed via which protocol? HTTP. The term referred to all the interlink HTML, HTML pages that can be assessed over the internet. The World Wide Web uh, orig uh, originally designed in 1991 by Tim Berners-Lee while he was a British computer scientist at CERN. CERN is the European Council of Nuclear Research, where he was the British computer scientist. And he invented the WWW in 1991. Okay. Now, components of the web are the three components of the web. What is URL? URL is uniform resource locator. I will understand after this. And third one is the second one is a hypertext transfer protocol. And third, uh, third one is a hypertext markable language. These are the three main components of the WWW. And what are the difference between the WW and internet? Internet is a technology where we uh, through which uh, th uh, through which we use the uh, we search some information through the in the web, uh, world uh, wide web. World Wide Web is originated in 1989. Internet is originated in 1916. As we uh, learned uh, from yesterday class uh, about internet, WWW is an interconnected interconnected network of websites and documents that can be accessed via internet. Yes, because without internet, we can't access, we can't get the information through in the WW. Okay. Internet is used to connect a computer with other computers. Obvious, when you use the internet, it connects with uh, to the other devices. You connect with the other devices through the internet. WWW used protocols. In WWW, which protocol is used? HTTP. And in internet, which protocol is used? TCP IP. We, uh, tomorrow, we will uh, discuss about uh, in detail TCP IP. Okay. It is based on software. WWW is based on the software and uh, hard, uh, internet is based on the hardware. How hardware? Because we are connecting uh, the internet uh, via Wi-Fi, you can say, LAN, WAN, MAN. We understand about the LAN, WAN, MAN. Because uh, at some at some time, uh, some point, there are some hardware devices are present through which we are connecting with the each other. Okay, like routers, these we will discuss. Routers, hubs, switches, these all are hardwares. Okay, so it is a service contained in, yes, uh, WWW, it is a, we get the service in the WWW or. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, yes. Ma'am, can you repeat that is four point. It is based on software. It is based on hardware. How it is happening? Yes, it is based on software. How? Because uh, as we under, uh, understood, uh, WW is all basic, completely based on software. How? Because uh, when you pressing some, you get uh, typing some information in the uh, form of the in the uh, in your web browser. So web browser is a software. Okay. Web browser is a software. You are getting some information in the form of the software. So it is basically based on and internet. How internet is a hardware? Because internet is a technology. Internet is a technology where you connect one computer or uh, to the other computer through some wire or through some routers. Root. 
suppose you are using a uh, uh, data in your uh, mobile but your data is coming through the satellite now but in at some point at some end point there are some routers and there are some hubs switches are present in at some point okay okay ma'am got yes. it Next is website, as we discussed. Uh, a website is a collection of web pages that are linked together. When you type in web address, your browser will connect to the server where website resides. Yes, obviously, when you, uh, as we see the example of the UGC net paper one, you type some information, you will get some, uh, you will uh, get the information in the form of the websites. And you download, when you download some, uh, information this information is uh, downloaded in the form of the web pages okay the web pages that you see when you visit a website is usually the home page yes when you open any website you will see first page is the home page the first page that is loaded when you visit the site the home page of the website usually contains a description of the site obviously i have uh, told you that uh, the uh, home page there are so all information about the website is present in the home page okay in addition many websites have a logo or banner that displays the name of the site okay web page what is web page web page is a single document that resides on a website Be website is is in the form of the web page when you click on a link to a web page your browser will connect to the server where web pages resides and download the page once the page has been downloaded, you can view it offline without an internet connection. As we know, web pages are usually written in HTML. Which language is used in the web pages? HTML, which is a language used to create web pages. Web pages is a very simple language. You don't need to know how to code to create your web page. What is search engine? Search engine is a tool that yeah. is... Yes. Can you just show me the last slide? Yes. Thank you, ma'am. Yes. A search engine is a tool yeah, that is used to search all other websites and information over the internet. Yes, it is a tool. When you uh, type some information or uh, information, the search engine, it is a way where you can search some information you get the information in the form of the websites search engines are mainly intending to gather information related to different urls a search engine contain its own database yes it provides a search box to enable the user to type the keyword yes search in search web browser there is a search box now so you uh, type some keywords or phrase for searching that information over the internet when you search a you use a search engine you enter a word called a query and search engine returns a list of web pages that are relevant to your query okay a search engine has three main components called crawler index search al algorithm yes crawler or spider both can be it can be spider it can be crawler when you crawl uh, when you uh, type some information crawler match your crawler goes in the world wide web uh, uh, in the world of the web uh, crawler goes to the uh, world of the web and he match your uh, words your uh, keywords with that uh, information and index he makes some index he makes some list that is matching to your uh, information he makes some uh, index of some websites so many websites and and search algorithm is is the as you algorithm is the rules is the list uh, rules or you can say the steps there are some steps that is used to search some information these three things are used in the search engine what is first is crawler who uh, uh, search some information and he makes indexes who match the information and there are some steps used for the searching the information Crawler is a software also known as in search engine bot. Search engine bot. A crawler is also called search engine bot that locates a website related to the searched keyword. Index a table of URLs 
yes as we uh, discussed now it makes a, a table of the urls or your websites which is used to improve the search process the search algorithm is a mechanisms involved behind the whole searching process their search algorithm is a mechanism mechanism means to say there are some steps as you see uh, study in the school time algorithm there are every solution there are some, first of all they make some chart or their flow chart so to solve that uh, uh, sum or uh, any question so this is the uh, as in the same in the search engine there are some algorithm there are some steps to search any information examples of the search engine google google chrome is the web browser google is the search engine only google is the search engine yahoo yahoo has its own web browser or has its own search engine baidu these all are the examples of the search engine and search engine optimization as we have discussed about search and engine yes do we have india search engine also like india indigenous means i don't understand i don't get you like do we ever have made this type of search engine like made it made in india made in means to say uh, do we have search engines which is made in india that okay, okay 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 got it one second Mm, i think there is no i think there is now this time uh, it can be uh, it is present i don't know I don't remember the name but now uh, around 2020 there was no search engine uh, that is made by the india but now i think th this time uh, there is a uh, the, uh, india has its own search engine okay i will tell you the name tomorrow but today i don't know the exactly name but now now this uh, day uh, india has its own search engine but around 2020 there was no search engine okay, okay ma'am yes okay yes when you built your website you likely created it with your users users in mind yes when you built your website you likely created it with your users in mind trying to make it easy for them to find and explore your content so it will easy for the uh, uh, your users to find your website so that's why we use seo okay search engine optimization to help uh, to understand your content and helping users finding yours find your site and make a decision about whether they should visit your site through a search engine you have to make you will see na uh, is there a, like a, uh thumbnail there is so uh, uh, you uh, you will see that uh, uh, some thumbnails or some uh, uh, content is uh, very good uh, you will see you will attract to that uh, part portion and you will open that site as you see go in the uh, youtube you will uh, uh, attract towards the thumbnail and you will open that uh, website or your uh, okay so that uh, that is because of the search engine optimization this will help us a uh, user or uh, uh, users to find the to search the information or uh, search the information according to their need or web browser is the same where we uh, type some uh, information or keywords and you get the information in the form of the websites a uh, first graphical web browser was mosaic launched in 1993 Uh, what are the some examples of the web browsers are the google chrome microsoft edge mozilla firefox opera mini these are the uh, web browsers okay these are the web browsers opera google chrome safari apple has its own web browser that is called safari mozilla firefox internet explorer microsoft edge first ever website and web page are went live on 6 august 1991 it was dedicated to information on the project and was made by tim berners lee what was the first ever website that is the this is uh, that is present in the red line that is the first web page web page address that is the okay 
and web web crawlers are mainly used to create a copy of all the visited pages for later processing by search engine that will index the downloaded pages to provide fast searches crawlers are can also be used for automating maintenance tasks on a website such as checking links or validation html code they match they match the information that you want to the uh, uh, in the web in the world of the web the most well known crawler is the google bot okay who is the well known crawler is the google bot there are many additional examples are search engines that is the bing bot slug bot duck duck bot these all are the web crawlers these are the names of the web crawlers first search engine is archive but most significant web search engine is alta vista okay first search engine is archive but most significant web search engine is alta vista when the question comes in first search engine that is that means it is archive but the word uh, the keywords will be most significant web search engine is then you will give the answer check uh, tick the answer alta vista which is the order search engine for the internet that is web crawler name is web crawler 1994 or uh, that is still surviving it is the oldest uh, search engine but it is still surviving search engine the first web browser was invented in 1919 by sir tim berners lee berners lee is the director of the world wide web consortium his browser was called world wide web and later first the browser was named world wide web but later on they renamed it nexus what it they the, their browser name uh, first they give the name of your, their browser world wide web when he changed then later on he changed the name nexus the world's first popular browser is mosaic these are the first popular popular name these are the, the world wide web is not the popular this is the uh, first but not popular but these are the popular mosaic and netscape okay and first web server is this is a web server you just have to uh, read out one or two times and you will got it this is a client server model as we have discussed today we will uh, tomorrow we will discuss about the world wide web web 1 web 2 web 3 okay and then domain name okay now we will finish here anybody wants to ask some question they can ask 